series of uh, fast apis so in the today section we are uh, going to discuss about the uh, file parameters how we can just input a file how we can upload a file uh, via rest api so uh, in today section we are just writing how we uh, how, uh, how we will do the uh, file uploads and all so uh, in the previous sessions which what in the uh, last session what we have discussed we have discussed regarding the path uh, form form data parameters how we can pass the form data parameters so uh, now let's start with the hands on part so first of all uh, in the earlier what we have done we'll just import uh, fast api uh, fast api and uh, import uh, what we need to do one is the file and another one is the upload file uh, these two uh, these two functions uh, that is provided by the first api by itself so after that what we need to do we'll just create an app app dot post inside that we need to upload the uh, create the route what route we want to create so let's create uh, we just want to upload a uh, we want to uh, uh, up upload a file so let's create a file so after that what we need to do uh, i'm just uploading a file and uh, let me just define a function uh, i think uh, def create my test file this is my function uh, where i'm just passing the file and the file will be that will receive that will be in the byte format and the byte format it will be just creating an object of the file so this will be just like the uh, basically file parameters will be incoming in the form data so from the file object we are just getting the bytes uh, and storing into the uh, file parameter now after that what we need to do we need to just return uh, we'll just check whether we'll receive the file uh, properly or not so how we can validate we can just uh, print the size of the size of file uh, what size of file we have received here and how we can just we can just find the length of the file object uh, based on the length of the file object we will get uh, let to know uh, what is the size of the file so uh, till here what we have done we just upload a file um, upload a file uh, and the file will be in the byte object uh, and now here we are just uh, printing the length of the file and same way we just uh, if you want to print the uh, name of the file we can also uh, name as well name of file uh so we can just write file dot file dot name file dot name so this will just print the file dot name uh, so i have already executed my server so let's uh, upload a file and test the output page uh, so when we refresh this page we will able to see here we have created one more rest endpoint now let's click on the try try it out try it out you will see we have one more form data parameter so let's upload one file over here so i have one draw.io file i'll just upload that file here and i am just uploading this file and we are able to see here uh, we are able to print the size of the file will be here so uh, i do one change uh, modification in the program i'll just remove the file name from that because the uh, uh, the file object don't have the uh, its binary object don't have the file name so uh, i'll just demonstrate you how we can uh, upload the uh, we, we, difference between the file and the upload file so let me just show you the come on the program once again M modify some changes here so the change uh, changes is like i just name remove the form name from uh, from this program so let me just copy this and demonstrate it how we can just print the form name as well so uh, in the file uh, we don't have the uh, we don't have the uh, we are using the byte stream here uh, to use that uh, we, what we need to get the file name uh, we have get the file upload uh, file upload uh, it's a type of this uh, file uh, so in case of the file upload what we need to do i can just print the uh, file name as well so instead of the length of this one uh, what i need to do i need to just file dot uh, file name so it will just give me the file name uh, name uh, let me just print it uh, name of file so it will be printing the name of the file and let me just change the route is as well here name and uh, uh, test file underscore name is my function name 
so when uh, when I just uh, run this program, so I am able to print whatever the file name that I am passing, it will be demonstrated here. So what you need to do, it will temporary, you just need to create a file object and you just want to save it somewhere else, so you can just pass the parameters in it. So it will save it, save the file, whatever you want, where you want, at what exactly path you want. Okay, so I will just demonstrating only till the file name, we are just printing the file name. Uh, because the reason is uh, this laptop uh, uh, having uh, some credentials so I cannot upload any external files into the system. External files means uh, uh, it will be uh, in the form of the record so I don't be uh, keep those files in the system. So let me just, just when I am just refreshing here uh, I have one more endpoint that uh, that is created so let me just refresh the page. Uh, when I am refreshing here I have one more rest endpoint that is file name. Let's click over here. And to test this, try uh, try it out. Try it out. After that, we will choose a file. So let me just uh, uh, select the file. After selecting, uh, selecting, I am executing it. When I am executing it, you are able to see here. I am able to see the file name. What exactly the file name? Actual file name that I am passing here. So you want to modify the file, and, and if you want to save it, any other name, any UID name, you can do that. It's on your all your choice. So uh, till then, what we have done, we have just uh, uh, whatever the request parameters, file parameters, form data, body parameters, we already discussed. So from the next session, we'll discuss about uh, uh, the response parameter, how we can modify the response parameter. Then we will move into the SQL statement, how we can uh, how we can work with the course and the security as well. So in the next session, coming sessions will be more interesting. We are discussing all these things. Thanks, thanks for watching.